So how do you tell if you have a bad shock on your car? There's a few ways. The first is the easiest. You just look at your car. If it's riding really low, and when you press down on the car side of the, the shock you're questioning, and it just bounces and bounces and bounces, you probably have a bad shock. Also, if you put 150,000 miles on your shocks like I did, you probably have a bad shock as well. This is the shock I pulled out. This is from my back left, and you can tell that it's bad because obviously my car was dipping down in the back, but I could easily press this in. And if your shocks are good after you press this in, this, this whole part should spring right back up. And it's just really, really sluggish. I mean, I basically have to like pull it out like this. That's how you know you got a bad shock. Let's do it again. I mean, that's like almost effortless. All the way down and really not much is happening. Time to replace. Okay, so I took off this rubber boot from the old shock and I put it on my new shock. And this is fully extended now, so I'm gonna press it down. That's what happens when it's branch banking new, comes right back out. I mean, it takes some force to. It doesn't, I mean, it's not super easy, but nonetheless, it takes a little bit of force to get down. So that's what it looks like. Old and new. One more time. There we go. Done.